stories of what they think you're like but i've heard the tender whisper of love in the dead of night and you tell me that you're pleased and that i'm never alone you're a good good father for answers far and wide but I know that we're all searching for answers only you provide cause you know just what we need before we say oh word you're a good good father Hello everyone, I'm so glad to be here with you. If you were here last week, you know that we're training for an all out, all in, epic, blow your mind kind of race. It's gonna be so much fun. Training for a race like this takes commitment. Commitment is making a plan and putting it into practice. Today, we're going to learn how to practice hearing from God. The Bible, it's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew. 
chapter 7, verses 24 through 29. After Jesus was baptized and spent time alone in the wilderness, he returned to Galilee. There he began teaching and gathering his disciples. Great crowds began to follow Jesus everywhere he went. So one day he climbed up a mountainside and sat down to teach his closest friends. Many others showed up to listen. You are the light of the world. This is quite the sermon on the mount. Jesus shared all kinds of wisdom about the way God wants us to live. He finished with a vivid word picture. So then, everyone who hears my words and puts them into practice is like a wise man. If Jesus gave us this example today, it might sound something like this. There were once two men who got an excellent deal on fabulous beachfront lots. One wise. What a view! And one, well, foolish. Ooh, now I can swim with the sharks before breakfast! <laughs> they both drew up plans for their dream home, but the wise man surveyed his property carefully. Better build back from the beach a little. Looks like we've got solid rock up here for the foundation. The foolish man had other ideas. I want one of those amazing beach cottages where the fish swim right up to your door. When both men got to work, the wise man met with the builder for his new home. I'd suggest steel beams. Can you bolt them directly into the rock? Absolutely. Excellent. Let's go. The foolish man once again had other ideas. I like to think of my home as a work of art. Build it only out of uh, things you find on the beach. Uh, driftwood, shells, oh, dried seaweed. You want me to build you a house out of seaweed? You can raid it or something. I'd suggest something more durable for the foundation, like a uh, rock. <laughs> Don't be so stuffy. We're creating art. Well, OK. At last, the two homes were complete. The wise man moved into his home high up on the rock. Good book, fresh lemonade, salty sea breezes. I'm all set. The foolish man moved into his house right on the beach. Seaweed thatching, exquisite driftwood posts, shell columns. <laughs> I am a true artiste. Within a short time, dark clouds begin to form on the horizon. Looks like I better pull down the storm windows. Oh, goody. I can enjoy the gentle rain on my driftwood porch while communing with the fish at my doorstep. Ah. The winds began to pick up. Raindrops spattered against the shore. High on the rock, gale force winds battered the wise man's home. But it stood strong and sturdy. On the beach, though, waters began to rise. Yippee! I get to have one of those tropical huts with the water underneath, yeah! The winds and waves beat against the foolish man's house. Uh, uh, where did I put my magic rainbow cinderella? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just gonna get out of here! The waves sucked away the sand beneath the house, and the wind whipped against the tipsy driftwood frame, and the entire structure collapsed. The foolish man stood drenched on the beach, staring at the remains of this house. Oopsie. On the mountainside, Jesus explained exactly what it all meant. So then, everyone who hears my words and puts them into practice is like a wise man. He builds his house on the rock. The rain comes down, the water rises, the winds blow and beat against that house. But it does not fall. But everyone who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man. He builds his house on sand. The rain comes down, the water rises, the winds blow and beat against that house, and it falls with a loud crash. The crowd listening to Jesus stared in amazement. He teaches with authority, like he's really in charge. Yeah, nothing like the other teachers. Jesus has spent the entire day explaining the way God wants us to live. His closing word picture made it clear. Anyone who puts the teaching of Jesus into practice builds their life on a foundation that will always stay solid, no matter what storms may come.
wow, I am so grateful that we can hear from God whenever we want to. It's so amazing that God has given us the Bible so that we can learn and grow and get to know Him better every day. The Bible helps us to hear what's true and reminds us of what's important. It might even show us things that we may need to change. The Bible helps us to make wise choice in lots of different situations we might face in life. We can hear from God by reading the Bible, and that's a really important part of our training plan. Remember, practice hearing from God. You can practice hearing from God by reading the Bible for yourself. So try it out. Have a great week, everyone.